We are taking time to honor and remember all of those killed 23 years ago today in the 9-11 terrorist attack. Nearly 3,000 people died in New York City, the Pentagon, and Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Tributes took place across the country and our state. One of the biggest, of course, is a memorial stair climb in Red Rocks Amphitheater. The annual tradition is a way to honor and remember the 343 New York firefighters, all whom died in the terror attacks. The event helps raise money for programs that still helps families of those who made that ultimate sacrifice. An exhibit in downtown Denver born after the September 11th attacks reopened this past spring after a five year hiatus. It's called The Cell and it aims to inform visitors what they can do to prevent terrorism. Your reporter Karen Morfitt explains how the exhibit is up to date to reflect what its curators see as current threats to American security. The Cell exhibit aims to educate visitors about terrorism and the dangers of violent extremism and how everyone can play a role in preventing it. Terrorism is defined as any type of violence or threatened violence that has some type of ideological motive and its ultimate objective psychologically is to create fear in whoever is being targeted with that terrorism. The CELL stands for Counterterrorism Education Learning Lab. With hands-on interactive displays and multimedia presentations, visitors learn about the root causes of violent extremism and how these threaten the security of the United States. So one of the things we do here at the CELL exhibit is try to dispel some of the myths surrounding some of these violent extremist ideologies. Visitors see how politicians can weaponize words and rhetoric to promote hate. They also see examples of leaders rising to combat at the forces of hatred and bigotry. Visitors are given techniques to identify hate speech. And so we're bringing students to the cell exhibit where they take 60 to 90 minutes to explore, engage with the content and just gain better awareness about the various security threats and violent extremist threats that we're facing today. Visitors leave understanding how extremism can radicalize people from every walk of life. There's a classroom space in the back where people can also review what they've seen and heard. It's just that simple. In the champion change part of the exhibit, we learn how we can combat the forces of hatred and bigotry. Fight for the right of every individual. Here we hear voices from Malala Yousafzai and from former President Bush to former President Obama, all speaking to what Abraham Lincoln called the better angels of our nature. Let us fight with love, faith, and courage so that our families will not be destroyed. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado first. For details on how to visit the cell exhibit, head to our website, cbscolorado.com.